I'm just talking all about my mom today. The best subject ever. Today, your favorite YouTubers are answering your questions on makeup. I like to call makeup an added boost of confidence. I guess it's a beauty enhancer. A little bit does go a long way. I think it's fun to experiment with different techniques. When I know my makeup's on point and my lashes are fierce, I feel a lot taller, I feel a lot more confident. I think eighth grade was when I started wearing makeup. No one really taught me how to use it. Girls don't wear makeup for themselves. They wear makeup trying to tell the world, this is who I am, or at least this is who I think I am. What if you just want to cover up a pimple, bro? I wear makeup for myself, no one else. People always think, oh, are you wearing that makeup for guys? No, absolutely not. I'm gonna walk out in black lips, blue lips, gray lips. It's real life Photoshop. Makeup is meant to just enhance the beauty you already naturally have. Obviously, if I have a pimple, I'm gonna put makeup over it to cover it up. But if I'm not filming for YouTube or if I'm not going out, you will find me without any makeup. I think guys can wear makeup, rock a little bit of guy liner. I personally wouldn't prefer to wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis, but then again, usually I don't even get dressed on a day-to-day -day basis. It's how you want to express yourself, and if that makes you happy, go for it. Does being powdered count as having makeup that, on? Am I wearing makeup? Fail. I did a makeup inspired by a villain on one of my favorite TV shows, and I had this huge hood on, totally forgot my face was painted, and I go to get in the elevator, and this girl like looks up and she's like, <gasps> and I'm like, why is she freaking out? Like, it's just me. <laughs> then I realized I'm painted like a villain. I don't even know. I am a makeup fail, I tell you. Okay, so the difference between beauty cream, CC cream, foundation, and moisturizer is I don't know the difference. All that I know is foundation can be really cakey. Don't wear too much of it. I promise you it's all about the technique. If you apply it properly, you will not feel caked up. Uh, moisturizer moisturizes the skin. Rubbing concealer in instead of tapping the concealer in is one of the biggest mistakes I know a lot of girls do. Beauty cream is a cream I'm assuming you apply at night. I have no idea what BB cream or CC stands for. Lipstick or mascara? You can't ask me these questions. Lipstick. I can go without lipstick, but I can't go without mascara. If I had no makeup on and I just have mascara, I would feel beautiful. Mascara, definitely. And if you really like someone, like your crush, that you love the sweat on his body, when you flutter those eyelashes, they become magical. Ladies, if you want to change up your eye makeup this spring and summer, just know the pattern of colors. This year, greens are definitely in. Two different colored eyes. We like the big eyes. It's just overall fun. You know, lips are the thing. These Too Faced, melted, liquefied, long-wearing lipsticks are amazing. I learned that waterproof mascara does wonders. I change up my liquid foundations in the summertime. I try to stick with just using powder foundation in the summertime. Give yourself a wonderful, amazing appearance. Remember, it's all in the look. A really great tip I have is when you are doing winged eyeliner, you take a little brush with concealer, you just run it against that liner and it cleans it right up and it makes you look like you took so long on your eyeliner, even if you didn't. The best makeup trick that I learned recently is to dip your eyebrow spoolie that you use to brush out your eyebrows in either eyeshadow or eyebrow powder and then as you're combing them out, it gets filled in at the same time. And that saved me a lot of time. Makeup is a type of art and I think that's why a lot of people enjoy it. Explore and just have fun with yourself. There is no limits. And you should try out new things and try out new trends and even if you don't like it, at the end of the day, you can always wipe it off. You know, the beauty should really come from in first and stem out and then the makeup's like icing on your inner beauty that has transformed your outer sphere of life. What? One more FAQs? Then let us know your frequently asked questions in the comments below. Click here to subscribe.